final version of my little ghost hunt game. Um, verified working on my Pac-Man board. So here's my Pac-Man board. Um, it only uses the bottom two banks of ROM which hide under this um, little daughter board. So that's pain. Okay, and it's got um, the Sprite ROM 5F and the tar roms changed okay so that's that's hooked up to my uh, custom jammer cab and here it is running okay it's uh oh it's so it's so nice to play a game on an actual board so silky smooth looks good i mean this is a little bit washed out because of the um all the lighting and the way the camera is auto changing itself and the refresh rate of the monitor sort of like strobes it a little bit um, but like I say nice simple game this is just the title screen so it's got the four ghosts that you're going to hunt moving around bit of tile graphic in the background scrolling message at the top which you can't really see because of the overscan you see the bottom of it uh, nice little swapping message, just telling why I've done the demo. And down at the bottom, a little swapping message with a blank in between to make it like it's flashing. Um, right, so the controls, you've only got a joystick to play Pac-Man, and then you've got start one, start two. Other than dip switches, there's no other switch settings you can use. So if we press play on start, we go into uh, play mode, where you've just got four ghosts going around, and you've got to shoot them using tile collision detection. Uh, because you haven't got a button, oh, I've lost my tank now. Can't see. Uh, because you haven't got a button, you have to press the play on start button to shoot. Uh, each ghost is worth 90 points, oh. but it uses tile collision detection, so unless the bullet sprite and the ghost sprite are in the same tile, you won't score. You get 60 seconds, obviously it's easier if you move around. But this is the final version I'm going to do with this, and then I'm going to get back on with my demo programming. Um, there's the game over screen, not much, just a bit of checkerboarding, tiles and then a bit of text. And we're back. Okay, but that's working, so I'll make the final version of the actual working ROMs available. Um, quite pleased with that, to be honest. It's not bad. Thank you.